Before the homesteaders arrived in Jackson Hole in the 1890s, the elk followed a migration route thousands of years old. The low areas in and around the town of Jackson offered protected overwintering grounds. The easy access to water, grasses, and sheltering buttes were also prime homesteading locations, and the town settlement soon disrupted the elk's migration. In just a decade, the elk were forced out and struggling to survive through harsh winters. Ranchers began sleeping in their haystacks to prevent the elk from decimating their winter feed stores for their cattle. The earliest evidence for human and elk interaction in Wyoming is found at the Powers II site where Clovis people used elk antler tines 12,000 years ago for mining ochre. Because antler is more durable than bone, it was the material of choice for many tools. Antler tines were used for flint napping, in atlatls, and as needles. The larger, heavier shafts of the antlers were converted into digging tools and handles for scrapers and knives. The vast majority of identified elk remains are antler, rather than bone. Archaeologists are unsure if they were sourced from annual antler sheds or utilized after hunting the animal. Elk were also used for a variety of other purposes, both functional and ceremonial. Elk ivories adorn necklaces and ceremonial outfits, and hides were tanned for clothing and a myriad of functional uses. In northern Wyoming and Montana, the Arapaho and Crow tribes hunted elk in large game drives similar to Plains Bison hunting techniques. Part of this practice included creating large antler cairns from the remains of butchered elk. These cairns were added to over time after each successive hunt. The homesteaders viewed the elk as valuable game animals. Many individuals earned a living as hunting guides. Perhaps the most well-known was Stephen Leake. Leake had the fortune of guiding George Eastman of the Eastman Kodak Company, who in return gifted Leake a Kodak camera. Leake began documenting the struggling elk herds and published his photographs asking for aid. In 1912, the Elk Refuge was formed by the cooperation of the state of Wyoming, Congress, and conservation-minded locals. From tourism to conservation research, elk continue to be an integral piece in the cultural landscape of Jackson Hole.